after industrial and post industrial. I found it very hard to comprehend competencia in the beginning. From the surface, there seemed to be no organizing patterns. The way people behaved, talked, solved situations, and reacted to each other was very instantaneous. At first glance, for a brief moment, everything seemed similar to post industria Yet everything was different here in Competencia. It was like someone had removed the backbone, the common principle of organizing social being and the whole structure of the culture. In the first weeks of my visit I encountered constantly situations in which my expectations and reactions were misaligned. Not much, but enough that I found myself off the map time and again. But attending a good old jazz gig opened my eyes. The group was swinging and experimenting, they were playing together and improvising openly and without a strict plan. They were changing the song on the fly, they were sailing by the wind, taking individual initiative and leadership, and still listening and communicating to each other as parts of a whole that was more than the sum of its parts. After this experience I started to get competencia in. Similarly to the jazz group, there were no definite gatekeepers in the media, but a social grassroots network of individual persons or nodes in which patterns arise out of a multiplicity of relatively simple interactions, like in the central nervous system, or swarms of bees. In this way, the world of work was arranged around multiple skills, strong competencies and continuous mutual communication. Teams were very self-organizing and self-oriented. Both in workplaces and at school, open and crowd-styled formations took initiative in finding a solution by fussy and creative processes. It seemed that there were more misfirings than in post-industria. But as the communication was far more dense and multifaceted, the processes were improved more efficiently. Made with DoodleCast Pro.